वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इन पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वी वर डिस्कसिंग द पावर डायोड्स लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द आर सी लोड नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल फोकस आवर डिस्कशन टू डायोड स्विचड आर एल लोड सो द नेचर ऑफ द लोड विल इंक्लूड वन रेजिस्टेंस एंड वन इंडक्टेंस वेन वी से वन इंडक्टेंस इट इज मे बी एंड इक्वीवेलेंट this n equivalent may comes from various combinations of series parallel inductors so the circuit may be complex but together the inductor may be giving you the n equivalent similarly there may be so many resistors and the equivalent sum comes out to be r equivalent so here we can see the circuit which involves a diode d1 and the load which is in the form of rl that is the resistance r equivalent and the inductance l equivalent the source that we applied is the dc source and there is a switch in the circuit this switch is basically closed at a particular time in this case we have taken time t equal to 0 when the switch is closed and then the current will start flowing so as soon as we close the switch the diode is assumed to be ideal condition so it is short circuited and the current will start flowing the voltage drop across the resistor is given by vr whereas the voltage across the inductor is given by vl for this we are following the passing sign convention as taught to you in electric circuit analysis now the kvl equation that we can write in the loop involving the r and the l is given by the source voltage vs is equal to sum of vl plus vr we know that algebraic sum of all the voltages will be equal to zero in a closed loop now here we have the voltage equation that is written for the inductor that is ndi by dt and for the resistor accordance with ohm's law it is i into r the solution of the current i of t we know that it will come in the form vs by r 1 minus e to the power minus t r by l where the initial current which is there in the inductor is equal to 0 now if we differentiate this current di by dt we get bs by l e to the power minus t r by l and at time t equal to 0 we get bs by l so it means that the voltage of the inductor which is obtained by l di by dt where the current expression is already obtained is given by vs e to the power minus t r by l if we plot the waveform on the x axis we have the time and the y axis we have the inductor voltage then the maximum voltage of the inductor we can see at time t equal to 0 is vs and this is exponentially decaying so you have exponentially decaying curve with the time constant tau given by l by r so we have a exponentially decaying curve for the inductor voltage similarly the current which is flowing in the circuit if we see here it is increasing exponentially at a rate which is having the maximum value i equal to vs by r so here vs by r is the maximum value of the current and again the time constant is given by l by r so what are the important points to be noted here is the d1 which is the diode it prevent the reverse current flow with ac and not for dc suppose if we are connecting the ac source so you cannot have a current flowing in this direction that is from cathode to anode so here you have anode and here you have cathode a current cannot flow from cathode to anode the current flow flow only from anode to cathode because the diode is unidirectional device so diode prevents the reverse current flow now when we talk about the switch the electronic switch uh, in the form of bjt mosfet or igbt which we are going to discuss in more detail in the coming lecture this this will blocks the reverse current the diode d1 and switch will mimic the electronic switch behavior here and the energy which is dissipated as spark across the switch risking damage to the diode to prevent this we will be connecting a free wheeling diode across the inductive load so here we have the load which is inductive in nature we would be connecting a diode here which is the free wheeling diode 
this will be discussed in a separate topic so when you have a rl load then you should connect a free vision diode in your circuit this will prevent uh, the any form of damage which can take place to the diode let us solve one problem involving the rl network with a diode the source voltage is 220 volt and this is a dc source the register value is 4 ohms and the inductor value is 5 mA. The inductor has no initial current. If the switch is closed at time t equal to 0, we will determine what is the steady state diode current. So when we determine the steady state diode current, IP, this is equal to Bs by R. So this was the maximum value of the current. So the steady state, steady state means when the transient has died out. So we got the Bs by R the Vs given to be 220 volt and the register is 4 ohms so it comes to be 55 ampere when we talk about the energy which is stored in the inductor the energy stored inductor formula is half Li square so half here we have 0 0.5 L that is the inductor value of 5 maybe Henry and the current is 55 ampere and hence we got the energy as 7.563 millijoule when we talk about the initial current di by dt which is equal to vs by l initial current when we have the time t equal to zero this is vs by l substituting the value of vs and the inductor value we get 44 ampere per millisecond and hence we can find the inductor current at a time t equal to one millisecond so when we talk about the current i in the circuit or the inductor at time t equal to one millisecond from this formula vs by r into 1 minus e to the power minus t by r by l here the time t is substituted as 1 millisecond so time t will be substituted as 1 millisecond and other values of vs r and l we will be substituting which gives to be 30.287 so this is a short lecture where we have discussed the diode switched rl network previously we have discussed about the rc network in the coming lecture we will discuss about the rlc network and then the free wheeling diode Thank you for now. See you in the next lecture.